Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this session, I will be explaining about electromechanical breakdown. Now, first of all, we will be explaining about what are the main reasons for electromechanical breakdown. This is one of the electri electric breakdown, dielectric breakdown, which is causing in solid dielectric material. Let us discuss the reasons. The first reason is solid dielectrics are subjected to high electric field. Solid dielectrics. Solid dielectrics are subjected to high electric field. High electric field. Okay. Coming back to next one, next point. Electrostatic compressive force. Electrostatic compressive force. Electrostatic compressive force exceeds mechanical compressive strength of given solid dielectric material. These are the two reasons how electromechanical breakdown taking place in solid dielectric material. We have to follow two conditions. That means first condition, looking at first condition, I can say solid dielectrics are subjected to high dielectric field, number one. Number two, uh, consider a solid dielectric material. Electrostatic, if the electrostatic compressive force of a given solid dielectric material exceeded to, exceeded by mechanical compressive strength, definitely dielectric breakdown will be taken place. So we have to analyze, we have to do the analysis of the electromechanical breakdown. Now let us consider a solid dielectric material piece. Consider a solid dielectric material. Let us do the analysis. Consider, consider a solid dielectric piece. Solid dielectric material piece. Material piece. Initially, it is having the thickness. Initially, initially. It is having the thickness is actually initial thickness. D0. I will be denoting D0 as a initial thickness. Initial thickness. Let it be D0. Then applied voltage. You are applying a high voltage. Let it be V. V is the applied high voltage. High voltage. You are applying V is the high voltage applied. So after applying high voltage. After applying high voltage, what will happen? The material is getting compressed. Whenever you are applying high voltage, the material will, will be considering material is getting compressed. So D is the thickness after the applying high voltage. D is the thickness after applying high voltage. Thickness of the material. Thickness of the material. After applying HV. After applying high voltage thickness of the material after applying high voltage okay well then whenever you are applying high voltage what will happen the material is getting compressed we need to say that whenever you are applying high voltage the structure the structure will be somewhat changing that means material is getting compressed that thing you have to consider all right now let us see the equation for electrostatic compressive force please keep those points in your mind let D0 is the initial thickness of the material. Then you are applying high voltage V. Magnitude of high voltage you are applying. Immediately after applying high voltage what will happen? The material is getting compressed. Alright. I think you are following with me. Now let us see the condition. Electrostatic compressive force is greater than mechanical compressive strength. What will happen? Now let us see the expression for electrostatic compressive force. I will be rubbing the board. So let us see the, extra, uh, the expression for electrostatic compressive force. So let us see the expression for electrostatic compressive force. Electrostatic. Electrostatic compressive force. Electrostatic compressive force. So that expression is given by. That is given by. Epsilon 0. Epsilon R. V square by. V square by. 2 D square. 2d square. This is the expression for electrostatic compressive force. Epsilon 0 means absolute permittivity of a given material. Epsilon R is the relative permittivity of the given material. Uh, v is the applied voltage. Uh, D is the thickness after applying high voltage. Similarly, 
mechanical compressive strength expression for mechanical compressive strength mechanical compressive strength mechanical compressive strength that is given by a simple expression y into y into ln d not by d y into ln d not by d where y is known as young's modulus where y is known as young's modulus young's modulus Young's modulus is nothing but it is the ratio of shear stress to the shear strain. I think you studied in PU classes. Young's modulus. Uh, D naught is the initial thickness of the material before applying high voltage, and D is the thickness of the material after applying high voltage. All right. Now we have to find out what is the maximum value of electric stress at the time of dielectric breakdown. What is the maximum value of electric stress? That means uh, how how about the electric stress at the time of dielectric material? Uh, so, so that we can call this one as equation number 1, uh, this one as equation number 2. What you can do is equate equation number 1 and 2. That means electrostatic compressive force epsilon 0 into epsilon r into uh, b square divided by d square. d square that is given by uh, y into ln uh, d naught by d. Hope you are understanding. From this expression, you are supposed to segregate the expression for v square. How to get the value of v square implies? v square. You are supposed to separate the value of v square. How can I write v square? That v square is equal to d square into d square multiplied by 2y divided by epsilon 0 into epsilon r epsilon 0 into epsilon r into ln d naught by d ln d naught by d. Please call this one as equation number 3. Now what you can do, write the expression for V. From this, you please write the expression for V. I will be writing the expression for V. How can I write? You take the square root. V square equal to uh, this term. This terms. LHS we have V square. V square equal to D square multiplied by 2Y by epsilon naught into epsilon R into ln D naught by D. From this, please try to write the expression for V. Take the square root. Then what? how, how we can write? How we can write? That means square root of uh, D square means D. Then square root of uh, 2, 2 into y by epsilon 0 into epsilon r. What I can write? Root 2 I will be taking outside. Root 2. Then what is the term remaining? y divided by epsilon 0 into epsilon r whole to the power 1 by 2. Similarly, one more terminology is left out. Lan uh, d naught by d. Okay. Hope you are following with me. Now call equation number 3. Alright. Now you are applying high voltage. Whenever you are applying high voltage, uh, there will be a compressive force. Because of that compressive force, the structure will be somewhat deferred. That means mechanical instability will be taken place. Whenever you are applying HV, uh, whenever you are applying, when you are applying HV, when you are applying HV, what will happen? Mechanical instability will be taking place. Mechanical instability. Mechanical instability uh, will be taken place. Please note down all the equations. Then it will be better understanding. It will, it will be really helpful for... Uh, having better understanding so kindly note down all the equations okay whenever you are applying hv what will happen mechanical instability will be taken place all right now uh, from this expression from this expression what we can write at the time of mechanical instability i'll be rubbing the uh, the bot the top portions when mechanical instability occurs So at the time of mechanical instability, at the time of mechanical instability, what we can write? At the time of mechanical, when the mechanical instability occur, when the mechanical instability occur, at the time of mechanical instability, whenever mechanical instability occur, then I can write one expression, uh, d, d by d naught, d by d naught, that is given by 0 0.6, 0 0.6, or I can write in this manner also. D naught by D is equal to 1.67. Anything is fine. So this is one condition you are supposed to assume. At the time of mechanical instability, uh, ratio between uh, D by D naught, ratio to D to D naught, that is equal to 0 0.6. Or else I can write D naught by D, that is equal to 1.67. Alright. Now what you can do, please call this one as equation number 4. 
let it be equation number 4. You please substitute equation number 4 into 3. 3 is available here. 4 is available here. Then you are supposed to write 4 into 3. You need to substitute 4 into 3. Then what I will get? I will be getting one expression that you can note down. V equal to V equal to V equal to D into D into D into root 2 into D into root 2 into Young's modulus Y divided by Epsilon 0 into Epsilon R whole to the power 1 by 2 into 0.6. Hope you are understanding. Okay. Now what you can do? I need to calculate the expression for electric field. I need to calculate the expression. I will be cleaning this. I need to calculate the expression for electric field. So, what is the expression for electric field? The maximum value of electric field. That I can write epsilon uh, e max e max that means e max is given by uh, v by d naught v by d naught if you want i can write again i can change this equation so what is v v is available here okay v if you want i can write d into root 2 into y by epsilon 0 epsilon r whole raised to 1 by 2 into 0 0.6 whole divided whole divided by whole divided by d naught so if you want uh, what I can write? D by D naught. What is the expression for D by D naught? Again, this, be, this become 0 0.6. 0 0.6. So, try to adjust. Try to adjust the expression. Uh, then what I will get? What is the final expression? I will be writing the final expression. Uh, 0 0.6 into, if you simplify, if you simplify, you will, will be getting 0 0.6 into y by y by epsilon naught epsilon naught into epsilon r whole to the power 1 by 2 whole to the power 1 by 2 that is actually expression for e max so this is the final expression that is it that is given by e max is given by 0 0.6 into y divided by epsilon 0 into epsilon r in uh, whole to the power 1 by 2 or square root of y by epsilon 0 into epsilon r so that is the maximum value of electric stress before occurring the dielectric breakdown so this much of stress is uh, this much of stress is required to cause the dielectric breakdown according to electro electromechanical breakdown. I think you got the uh, information regarding electromechanical breakdown. This is the way how the electromechanical breakdown will be normally taken place in all the type of solid dielectric material. You please write the equation necessarily. First one, what is the expression for electrostatic compressive force? Please note down. Then second one, you are supposed to write the expression for mechanical compressive strength. Then equate both the equation. Electrostatic uh, electro, uh, static compressive force that should be equal to mechanical compressive strength. From that you are supposed to calculate the expression for V square. Immediately after calculation of V square then you have to derive the expression for V. Take the square root. That's it. Then you are saying that whenever mechanical instability is occurring uh, there will be one condition that is given by D by D naught that is equal to 0 0.6 or D naught by D that is equal to 1.67. Then apply the same equation. Uh, then what you can do you can calculate the value of v final value of v you can calculate by applying d by d naught that is equal to po uh, that is equal to 0 0.6 then you will be getting the value of v immediately after getting the value of v what you can you can do you can calculate the maximum value of electric stress maximum value of electric stress that is given by v by uh, d naught then if you calculate the value of v by d naught then i will be getting the maximum value of electric stress before causing the dielectric breakdown that is the that is given by uh, e max that is equal to 0.6 into y by epsilon 0 into epsilon r whole to the power 1 by 2. So, this is the final expression for maximum value of electric stress. So, this is about uh, electromechanical breakdown. This is the way how the electromechanical breakdown will be taken place in the solid dielectric material. Thanks for listening this video. If you are having any queries, you can, you can put any doubts, you can put in the comment box. I will be clarifying once again to you. Uh, thanks for listening this video. Please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.